My name's Richard Armitage and I'm performing Romeo and Juliet, a novel for Audible. In very simple terms, in my own words, I think it's probably the greatest, most prolific, tragic love story ever told. What David Hewson did with this script was so exciting to me. I really loved the fact that he followed avenues that Shakespeare um, suggested but didn't necessarily uh, go to. I love that he will take the essence of Shakespeare's words and create modern dialogue. Um, I think he's made an incredible character out of Juliet, which, uh, you know, as you listen to the book, you'll understand that her sensitivity and her sensibilities are of a very modern woman, which I found refreshing. I feel like the, the, the modern reader can listen to these, these uh, characters and listen to this story, understand Juliet's perspective, understand Romeo's perspective, understand the perspective of a family who are really at odds with each other, not in a historic sense, because they, in, he's just enabled you to, to understand what she is like as a woman bound by her time. And the remarkable thing is that as a character, she herself understands that she's a woman bound by her time, which is a really difficult thing to do, but it's exciting on the page. It's so interesting, you know, the, the people that he references, the Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci, the discovery of the new world, it really gives you a sense of that burning desire for opportunity and, and they're about to step into the 1500s. And, and to me, that I, with, within the first page, I was very excited to learn what was going to happen next. Romeo set foot in the Palazzo of the Capulets for the second time that evening. The two of them stood there for a moment in each other's arms. He kissed her, a natural kiss, full of love and passion and heat. So much, she retreated and said quite shyly, that was more convincing. Anyone would think you've been practicing. Only in my dreams. I felt with Romeo and Juliet that it, I didn't want to create too many um, big characters. Aside from the nurse, the character voices are, are, are more subtle than I've, than I've m made in the past. At the same time, you need to identify where people come from and who their allegiances are, what, whether they are nobility or, you know, staff or, you know, beggars on the street. So um, I chose to make the Capulets sound one way and the Montagues have a slightly different sound. And I put an, a little Italian voice in there just for my own pleasure. If you want to go and immerse yourself in a very warm bath of, of Garganega wine and the heat of Verona and hear a brilliant story about a young woman who is challenging the restraints of her time. There's romance, there's poetry, there's politics, and there's humor in there as well. And I've really enjoyed reading it. So, so yeah, I, I hope that the audience enjoys listening.